You just started and stuff. Oh, okay. Never mind. Hey guys, what's going on Life and Gaming here today? I'm coming to you today with another episode of Road Rage. I think this is episode five. I'm not entirely certain. But now that I have some air in this some bitch, I it might be the last episode. No, it won't. For a while. No. I don't know if I take you home. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. adjusted one side like look at this guys she adjusted one side and left the other side completely normal and now I have to deal with this see that's weird like we interrupted her while she was trying to go on her break or clock out or something so she just like half-assed everything Looking like really turn bad green. experience a target first the transgender bathrooms and now this wait do they actually have transgender bathrooms yeah they oh have my transgender God, that's bathrooms. fucking stupid they call them family like unisex bathrooms basically that's fucking stupid i mean i'm like a lot of shops have turn green Thank like you. i understand you want to be like, like a I girl understand. and pretend you're a guy or a guy and pretend you're a girl but jesus fucking christ if, if you, you have, have the wrong dick, parts go into the right bathroom if you have a dick and you don't have to sit down to take a piss you're a fucking guy if you have to sit down to piss you're a girl unless you have some kind of urinary disease or something like that and you actually do have to sit down with this. And if you're like some people and you have a bag that's bad against the crippled. Sean's crippled. Yeah, bro. But he doesn't have to piss through a straw or into yeah, a bag I or anything. I broke a few toes going down my stairs at my house. And he's been a Pinocha ever since. You're a little bitch. Better a bitch than a vagina. Bitches have vaginas, dumbass. I bet at least mine's not sore right now. Mine isn't sore, my damn toe is sore! And I don't have a damn vagina! You have a vagina. I'm and that's probably to sore. punch you in your Pinocchio. <laughs> so today's gonna be a great day, you can already tell. Yeah, I see. Like, I understand, back to the transgender shit, I understand family bathrooms for like baby changing and shit like that, or kids who are training to use the bathroom and shit like that, because it's kind of awkward for a woman to take her boy kid into a, into a woman's bathroom. And then have to explain why. And for a guy to take his girl kid into a bathroom. That will never ever ever happen, because I'm pretty sure if I was that dad, and somebody like was pissing in there while my little girl was in that bathroom. Oh no, you're pissing in a bottle on the way home. I would throw their ass out. Like straight MMA fighter, fucking. Because, like, that's somebody's little girl. Like, that's why no guys take their girls into the stalls. I mean, like, I understand, but if a guy's peeking over, that's when you beat the living fuck out of me. And on that transgender thing, if you're in the transgender bathroom and you're worrying about people peeking over, then call the fucking police on them. Or security Don't or call the like police that. on them. Just go into the right fucking bathroom. Well, I mean, like I know the guys. Somebody, gonna be like, like even if they're going to be even weird if you're not transgender it? and somebody's peeking over the stall at you, fucking call security. Or because something a lot like of that. people, a lot of people are really old-fashioned. The way I say it, a lot of people are like, they're very set, one-minded. They don't like homosexuals or bisexuals or transsexuals because they think it's wrong because they're very biblical. Like. I'm not gonna go all ape shit on somebody because they're gay or they're transsexual or something. 
but well, I'm not don't run age. around in the street with a fucking rainbow flag stuck between your ass cheeks asking for gay rights. Like, y'all have rights. No. Gay rights wasn't a specific thing, but y'all had rights. Y'all, y'all are have the right humans. To marry. Y'all have the inalienable rights. You don't have to have a fucking right to get married. People didn't have to have rights to get married legally. The only reason that helps, I guess, is because of splitting it, everything. It's but, a legal matter, shit like that. To truly, if you truly love somebody, the way I see it, you don't have to go before the judge and all that. Sign you don't have to go papers. through a big wedding. You don't have to go before the judge and have it done. Shit, you don't even have to have. All a you wedding. have to do is give her a ring. Yeah. And have a wedding. You don't even actually wedding. have to have a wedding. In your yard and have yeah. all your family and everybody or out on a farm. And have Nick, all your why family. are you slowing down? But you don't have to go. And, you don't have to go and pay twenty thousand dollars on a fucking dress if you don't want to. Like, I understand, that's nice, that's the right way to do things, but you don't have to. Hey, lower that camera, there's a cop behind us. Well, he might be thinking more video other people's license plates. And I do care, because I'm driving and I don't want to pay a ticket. You know how people road rage and shit whenever they think other people are videoing them? Let them get out and try to beat my ass. They're not gonna beat your ass, they're gonna beat mine because I'm the one that's fucking driving. No, they're not. They'll start a problem with you, and then I'll be like, hey, I have a camera. Stop fucking with showing. Video on purpose. Well, they break my phone. It's my damn fucking fight. They ain't going to break your phone. No. Most people that do shit like that are too much of a fucking vagina to do anything. And it's also illegal. People will go up to your car and smash your window. I saw a video on Facebook of an old guy because the guy was videoing him on his driving and he almost ran him off the road. Like the guy who was videoing almost ran the guy off the road and blaming it on him. Yeah, but we're not videoing being stupid. come up and smashed his window with one of those extendable batons. I would come up and smash his fucking window with my fist. If he tried to run me off the road, I wouldn't even be mad that he was videoing. I mean, I can understand why the guy was mad because like the guy was probably, looked like he was playing on his phone. No, and he that's was videoing the guy and like, look at this old man, he's trying to run me off the road, and then almost ran the old man off the road. And then he said he was going to sue the old man for smashing his window. I just saw Mike, and you did not. It hurts to drive with broken toes. Because I have a standard. If I didn't have a standard, it'd be no problem, but it's on my left foot, and I have to use the clutch with that. It's alright. My grandpa had a three on the tree, and he fucking drove it with a broke arm. His right arm was broken in a sling, and he drove his three on the tree standard. He'd reach through the steering wheel and across and shift, and then oh, go back to the steering wheel. Right here? No, he'd reach with this hand through the shift, through there to the shifter. Yeah, on the tree. So where, where do you think I can order a piece for my um? order a whole new helmet. I do not want to buy a whole new I wouldn't buy an auto darkening again. Like I like auto darkening. Well, I mean you could go on the website or see if somebody you could go on eBay and see if somebody has the screws. Well it's not the screws, it's the adjuster piece. Not the like adjuster. the strap, it's the piece that screws onto the screw. Like that bolt on the outside that you uh, use to tighten and loosen. Oh you could just like Get a little nut or something. I don't know. True, I could use a nut, but I don't have enough big enough for that. Why do people drive 45 when it's a 55? I don't know where you can get that. You could probably just end up having to buy new headgear. Yeah, let me just look at our There's a place you can find it on the internet. Let me just look at our purple problem driving. No. If you do that, we will buy. We might die without you being on your phone. But if you do get on your phone... I have driven good this entire time! Because I had your phone. Tell me I'm wrong. You are wrong because not all my almost accidents occur with my phone. No, I barely all your almost phone. accidents occur whenever you try to do something that you think you can do and get away with. Yeah, but, but it becomes too... A lot of times it's not on my phone and why does the light always turn red when I go to it? Only once has this light ever been green. Whenever I'm go- driving through it. Yeah, Sean's really bad about uh, 
stop having road rage. Stoplights. Got stoplights. Distracted driving, you know, just horrible, horrible record as far as driving goes. There is nothing 57 on tickets. That is a load of bullshit. I don't have one single ticket. Surprisingly. Is that 56 tickets? Because you don't have one of them anymore? Oh my god. <laughs> speed all the time. Somebody wrote Exclamation that. Exclamation points. It's alright. You go up to somebody's dusty ass back windshield, you just put wash me on it. Or, what's back end funny, me. you gotta honk if you're horny on the back windshield. <laughs> I have a window marker. I can do that to some people. And that window marker doesn't wash off for what you do is you get a little sign and you like weld stick it. it down to their bumper. Or you weld My it friend on. doesn't know that this sign is here. Please honk every time you read this. Like really big so the people behind them at red lights. Especially if you live in the city, that'd be funny. Oh yeah. The person behind us is like driving on the rough where he was. Look. He's about driving on the rough almost where he was. Hey. Don't pick on them, they have to follow the yellow line because they can't see the white one. They're probably really short. Oh, I thought you were going to make a Wizard of Oz joke. Follow the yellow brick road, motherfucker. And we're off to see the wizard. The motherfucking Wizard of Oz. Yeah, so that GTA 5 video yesterday, about that. Right after you left, you told me. I got three or four different five stars and I'm almost... I'm working on doing a heist. I've got yeah, a little setup done for Prison Break. If y'all don't read my descriptions, which y'all should, because it gets all my social um, social media uh, links. Um, he has a PS3, which automatically has online for GTA. And he was raging so bad yesterday. Yeah, because I don't have uh, Xbox Live. PS3, you don't have to pay for online. Yeah. PS4, you do. Oh, you do? Yeah, PS4, they made it to react to my PlayStation Network. That sucks. It's not as much as Xbox is, though. Who makes PlayStation? It's, it's not Microsoft. Sony makes it. Sony? Yeah. Actually, I think PlayStation 1 came out before the Xbox did. I think PlayStation did, 2 PS... came out before the Xbox 360. Yeah, PS1 came out before the original Xbox, and PS2 came out before Xbox 360. No, PS1 and PS2 came out no. before 360. Oh yeah, PS1 and 2 came out before 360, but... Uh, PS2, the, PS2 the original, came out when Xbox came out. The original Xbox came out before PS2, though. When? Well, I can't exactly. Remember. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was in the same. Oh year. yeah, yeah. Because it it came out like within the same year, like right after PlayStation Two. Mm -hmm. Or no, uh, PlayStation One. Because we had a PlayStation, and then we had a PlayStation Two. Have to cut that. And then we got an Xbox at my cousin's house. Okay. We played the Xbox, played Halo Two for like a year, probably just playing that. And then we went ahead and got a PlayStation 3 there, and then we got the PS4 there now. So, like, I say we, we all pitch in money, like all the kids do, and we just have those game stations there, because Patrick plays them, and Rusty plays them, but then we all play them whenever we go. Yeah, so we like to, games and stuff. to play them at your house. So we all went ahead and got PS4s. I'm gonna get little Casey still stuck on Xbox 360. I have an Xbox 360. Xbox 360s are pretty awesome. They actually yeah, had they one, they had one at GameStop it. used for 78 bucks. They're not making the games for 360 anymore. No, nope, they're not making the games for PS3 anymore either. They've been phased out mm -hmm. of the product line. Doesn't all the Xbox One basically have that's new is like it's thinner and like a lot nicer looking and the fucking um it's voice recognition shit. Yeah. It has a you can turn speaker it on and the by controller. You don't turn it on by speaking. 
to it. I don't think you can. Well, we have a damn the PS4. We have a PS4, and all you do is you like grab the controller and hit the PlayStation button on the controller, and it comes on. Yeah, the same with. The it doesn't Xbox. have voice recognition unless it's like in sleep mode. Well, instead yeah, of, like, but the um, off. the Xbox One has voice recognition for like turning it on. I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. I'm that could be sure retarded. That would, that would suck. Yeah, because you're supposed to be dicks. Down, fucking downstairs saying on. No, you can't turn it off by telling it to. You can't. Your friends would be dicks and turn it on and make you turn it off and turn it on and make you turn it off. That would ruin friendships. Just like Xboxes already do, but still. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do today. Thank I feel you like guys I'm catfishing. So Let me fucking speak. Watching um, episode 5, I think, of Rainbow Rage. Or it might be episode 6. I'll have to check before I upload this. But, um, yeah, uh, do be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy. Let's go for two likes, maybe three. And uh, comment down below what you want to see me do on my channel, like gaming or vlogging or anything like that. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Take That's care. so sad. Let's go for some likes.